everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the new Laura Mercier Ultra Fusion Longwear Foundation. If you do want to see a review and a demo, please keep watching. It just says Laura Mercier and Ultra Fluid Foundation. And when you open up the packaging, this is what the foundation looks like. It does come with a pump when you open it up. This time I made sure that I got two different shades instead of me running back and forth. So I just bought two shades. Um, the shades that I did get, I got Chai and I also purchased Nutmeg. Nutmeg looks a little bit too orange for my skin complexion. So I wanted to see if I can at least, you know, mix the two foundations together. So here's what they look like side by side. I'm also going to pump each one out and then we're going to see if we can create a mixture. There wasn't anything in between and I feel like their shade range was off to me as well. So let's pump out Chai. So that's one pump of the shade Chai. Let's see if we can blend this out. Oh yeah, no, that's gonna be way too yellow for me. Right next to Chai, I'm gonna pump out Nutmeg. So that's one pump of Nutmeg, and you can already see how like orange, it's very orange undertone. And I don't like that one either, but let's see if we can mix these together. By mixing the two shades, this is what I got. I think I need to pump out a little bit less of nutmeg since that's an orange base, and I needed to add a little bit more chai. About two drops of chai instead of one now. That's the shade that I got, so I think this shade would definitely work for me. It does look like it might match, so I'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender. You can't even tell that I have it on. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face. After quite some time of blending, this is what the foundation does look like. I do feel like the foundation is a bit too light for me. If I add a little bit more nutmeg, I would become orange. I feel like Laura Mercier should have a good shade variety, but she doesn't. I'm going to wear this foundation throughout the entire day, and I will check back in with you guys at the end of the night to see how this foundation did wear, and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is the end of the night of me testing out the Laura Mercier foundation. I really do like how the foundation did last throughout the entire day. So this is what the foundation is currently looking like after eight, eight and a half, nine hours, and this is what the foundation does look like. I really do like how the foundation did wear throughout the day. I am a bit shiny. As per usual, I did not block. I did set this foundation with the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Setting Powder, and I did use the Kat Von D Setting Mist as well to set the foundation, and I really do like the coverage that it did give, and I really do like this. At the end of the night, surprisingly, it lasted really, really well, so I will check back in with you guys at the end of the week to tell you guys my final thoughts to see if I love the foundation or if I hated it, but I don't know, I feel like it's going in the right direction. The only downside of this foundation is that I did have to mix both of those foundations together, Nutmeg and Chai, and I did not like doing that, but overall the foundation did hold up. I will check back in with you guys at the end of the week to see what my final thoughts are, and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is the end of the week of me testing out the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. My final thoughts in this foundation is that I really do like the longevity of this foundation, and I do like how it does wear throughout the entire day. I don't like the foundation foundation shades in this collection. I did have to mix nutmeg and chai together, which I did not like doing throughout this week. Some days I did look a little bit more orange, and then the other days I did look a little bit more yellow tone. This foundation took quite some time to start my day, and I just felt like it wasn't worth it in the end. So the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation, I feel like if you can find your color match, then this foundation is perfect for you. But if you are someone like me who cannot find your color match, do not bother in mixing the two shades together because you will end up being either orange or yellow tone. So that's my final thoughts, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.